Welcome back to the main stage. Today our guest is Susie DiGiusti with TGIF, Towards Gainful Infinite Freedom. And today we talk about how to untame your speaking potential. Let's get into it. Welcome to the main stage, where strategy meets dynamic growth. I'm your host, Megan Fettis, and together we're gonna embark on this enriching journey through the realms of business of speaking, making sales from the stage and uncovering the secrets behind sustainable success as a speaker. Welcome back, our final episode. Hello. I know, Thank right? You. Yeah. And our last episode, we talked about the skill set that speakers need to master on stage. So if you haven't had a chance, check that out. Because again, we got into some really neat tools and tidbits that are really going to help elevate their experience. This episode, our final episode, I would love to hear from you. What is the best piece of advice that you wanna share with entrepreneurs and speakers that will allow them to untame their speaking potential? Well, we all know a lot of things and we do a lot of things, but there's a huge difference between knowing and doing. Mm, right? Yes. And we need to be able to get to that point where we can bridge the gap. And in order to do that, we need to have clarity. So what are you talking about? How do you want to talk about it? What are the points? All of this you may have in here, but you don't know how to get it out. For me, I hired a coach. Um, and from there, I'm able to look at things, not only clearly and see what it is that I want to say, but how can I say it simply? Yes. Simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. And I love that quote because often as speakers, we want to be seen as the expert, right? So we, like you say, have all of this knowledge. We have all of these things that we want to share. And what I've seen so often happen is speakers like just try and almost like dump out all of their knowledge so that they can be seen as the expert. But what we forget is that that doesn't make we, us look like the expert. What makes us look like the expert is if we can take complex ideas and simplify them. And make them simple. Yes. Yeah. We don't have to go into big words and, and structures and stuff like that. We just need to basically say A, B, C. These are the steps that you need to take. These are what you need to look at and give a clear definition of what those three steps are and let them have it. Yes. And one of the things that is vital and important is to actually speak about less things and go deeper with them. Oh, speaking my language now. Okay, so my background, being Italian, I can talk and I can talk and I can talk. I could talk about a lot of things, <laughs> right? But if I'm continuously going around and around and around, you're not exactly getting any kind of idea of where I'm going with this. You're just getting a lot of stories and maybe laughing here and there, or we cry a little bit. Um, but if I just sit back and I take a breath and say, what do I really want her to walk away with? We just break it down. Just break it down. Yes. And this is how people begin to really stand out on the stage is instead of trying to cover a lot and just kind of skimming the surface with it, I know we kind of talked about this in one of the previous episodes around story going deep, but we want our content to be really simplistic, yeah. but deep, yes. right? Really getting into a little bit more meat and potatoes. It's a little bit more of a farm mentality, I guess, saying, but really getting into like the depth of things so that your audience is walking away with massive value. Yes. And one other thing I have to say about that is for those of us out there who have struggled with perfectionism, it's, it's being able to say, okay, I know I want to say all of this, but I can't. And then be able to turn around and say, I need help. Mm. Right? Yeah. I want to be able to make a difference, but I need 
help. Mm -hmm. And it's so common, right? Like, as I always say, every single person is a master at their modality. They're the expert in their knowledge. And then there's their audience, right? And so it's really about learning what you need to have in place to be able to bridge that gap because they get very complex with their thoughts and ideas, trying to share everything mm -hmm. that people get overwhelmed, they get confused, there's no clarity and they can't take action on anything. Yeah. The second one is they don't speak the language of their audience, right? So we need to simplify our language so that the concepts, the ideas resonate. And then the last one is having a structure. So understanding what the audience needs and how they need to flow through it so that it really speaks to them on all levels. Yes, yes. And that's where you got, you know what you know, you do what you do, but you build that bridge to do, to be able to do it all in an effort, effortlessly way. And that's why I say coaching, for me, a coach always needs to be coached and mm -hmm. I needed the help. So I got it and not to be afraid to ask for that help either because you only grow. Yes, absolutely. And having somebody to take a look on that outside perspective, right? Because we are very close to our work and mm -hmm. As entrepreneurs, our work is very much connected to our heart, it's connected to our personality, it's connected to really every aspect of who we are. As much as we like to say that it's not, mm -hmm. it is. And so having that outside perspective also helps to bring in that clarity. Yes. And it helps bring in that simplification. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Now, I wanna kind of go even deeper into this aspect because one of the things that um, we do in the structures of the talk is we start with clarity as the foundation. Mm -hmm. And we start with the end in mind, right? Like, what is it that you're offering? What is the direction that you need your audience to move in? And whether you're selling from the stage or not, this is an absolutely essential process so that people can hear your talk they can have that mindset shift that they need. They can gain the clarity, the inspiration. And even if there's not a sell at the end, because they're clear, they know what direction to go to get those lasting results. So can you share a little bit more with me about like kind of what that journey was like for you, kind of discovering that end in mind process and building your talk from there? Uh, you know, it was so mind blowing to me <laughs> because, you know, you think, oh, I've got to start with A and go to this and do this and do that. But starting from the back end, a lot of people like, you know, this is the end result. A lot of us don't think about that. And I really wasn't thinking about that when I was starting out with my speaking. Yeah, I was just like, I just want to get out there and share the word. I, look, look at me. Um, so knowing what the end result is was a huge impact for me, especially when it came into being relatable mm. and being able to share my stories and being able to say, this is what I did to get to this point where I can move forward and bridge this gap of what I know and what I do and doing what it is that I want to do to get to that end result as well, right? Because right. that end result is one thing, but it means and represents so many things to me as well. Exactly. It's not just one thing. No, it's not. Really, as an entrepreneur and as a speaker, our job is to really care about our audience and our potential clients, so much so that we know what that next step is for them, mm -hmm. right? And that's where that end result really comes in. Yeah. And when we build everything structured off of that, there's a lot more intentionality on how can I serve and how can I support them in getting the results that they truly deserve. And you've said the key word there is serve, mm -hmm. right? It's not, it's not about me. My talk is about me, but it's not about me 
telling you and, you know, getting you to do whatever it is that you want to do. No, it's, it's me sharing my experiences because I want to serve you in a way that you move forward in that kick-ass life, that best life, whatever it is that you want to do, right? <laughs> However it is that you want to do it. I'll be there along the journey. That's my service to you, is to promote you, to, to say, yes, you can do this, to give you whatever it is that you need to get you up and have a thumbs up day. Yes, that serving. Serving. Is absolutely key. Yeah. I feel like that's like the number one ingredient that creates success. I would have to say, yes, it is, right? Because it's certainly not ego. No. No, our ego will take us so far and then that's it. It maxes out. Yeah. Serving because we are connected beings. I really don't believe that we are on this planet to create our own personal success. We're here to create success as a community, as a whole. And so how do we do that? We focus on how do we serve other people? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We create that community. Yeah. Right? Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I feel like we could talk for hours about this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure we can. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> There's many times that we yeah. will continue this conversation going. With a bottle of wine next time. Ooh, yeah. I dig it. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Susie, for being here, for sharing so many valuable tips and tools with our audience. This has been incredible. And I'm so glad that you were a guest on the main stage with Megan with me. It's been truly an honor. Thank you for having me. Now, before we close off our show, again, I'd like you to share with our audience how they can get in touch with you, how they can learn about what it is that you do to serve them. So I want you to hop on over to tgifreedom.com and you'll find all that you need to know about me a little bit more and how to contact me. And I hope that I can hear from you soon. Amazing. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. This was so much fun. As the curtains draw to a close on today's episode of The Main Stage, remember to apply the lessons learned and embrace the journey ahead. It's Megan Fettis urging you to keep striving for excellence in your speaking endeavors and your business pursuits. Until next time, stay inspired and keep shining.